all right guys and welcome back to my channel now this 996 i've had for four and a half years now and i thought i'd do a video of a bit of a cost breakdown really how much does it cost me in the four and a half years of ownership now those that have been following me for a while will know this was the cheapest 911 in the uk when i bought it i bought this at absolute rock bottom prices so i'm going to do a breakthrough now show you exactly how much it's cost me in four and a half years of ownership Right, so I bought this car for a couple of reasons four and a half years ago. Now, to start off with, when I bought this, they were absolute rock bottom prices. You could pick these up pretty easily for around 11 grand, if not cheaper, which is obviously a lot of car for the money. The second reason I bought it was I was 27 and this was a dream car, I had the money, money wasn't doing anything in the bank, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself, invest in something like this, and if I hang on to it, hopefully. It'll go up in value and it certainly has now the purists will know this isn't a standard car now originally it was a carrera 2 fairly bog standard 911 um automatic which a lot of people wouldn't like i personally quite like an auto a lot easier to drive for the kind of driving i do i think it's a lot better so done some mods didn't need to do the mods but i've done it for my own preference really so first off i fitted a turbo front bumper I've also fitted some GT3 replica side skirts. Now, these were an optional extra anyway for the Carrera. And I fitted a Carrera Sport rear spoiler. And again, this isn't a standard one. It's been modified a little bit because it doesn't have the brake light in the middle. I think the spoiler really adds something to the car and makes it look so much sportier. <laughs> You'll also notice the 997 um, Carrera X, I think, wheels. Lobster claws, I believe they call them. Nice little touch on the 996, I believe. So along with the body kit, I've also added a set of Merc flappy paddles. Now this was pretty easy to do. I modified the existing steering wheel. They fit pretty easy with minimal wiring. So that's something I would recommend. And I've changed the exhaust from the factory exhaust to Dank's performance exhaust. It's got standard tips, but it just makes it a little bit throatier and sound more like a Porsche should do. I'll give you a demonstration of that now. So how much does this car actually cost me? Well, the car cost me £8,600 to buy and get delivered to my house. Now, that was obviously very cheap at the time, but it did have a few problems. The, them kind of things I've sorted, there's little niggly faults, nothing serious, but I've sorted them all. So first off, fuel economy. Now this, if I'm just driving it around town, normal driving, being sensible, it'll do, say, 21, 22 to the gallon. From thrashing it, a little bit less. I did take it around the track and I think we've got 17 to the gallon from a few hours of a thrash. I think that's pretty good. Um, I took this on a long run once and managed literally 31 to the gallon. Now, I worked that out. I, I filled it up before and afterwards and worked it out properly. So that was absolutely amazing. 31 to the gallon in a car that will do 170 mile an hour is pretty impressive. So tax and insurance. The insurance, with my wife declared on the policy, who is a young female driver with no no claims was 400 pound all in for me um last year i think to start off with it was about 560 but at the time she was only 24 so again really good uh tax i think it's 330 pound a year I only pay monthly and i only tax it when i use it so fair enough not too bad really mot it's past every mot i've took it to and it's cost me 30 quid a pop beautiful so maintenance etc so i've done a couple of services on it um bearing in mind i've only done six thousand miles in four years so i've done a couple of engine services i've done a transmission service um and that's cost me 250 quid i've also replaced the engine mounts with some um poly bush ones and the gearbox mount now i think i bought the engine mount second hand so i got a bit of a deal but they were 120 quid so I've also fitted the Porsche approved lowering springs. Now these were like optional extras on, again on the Carreras. Uh, I got them cheap at 110 quid, lowered it, I don't know, 20 mil or something. Looks better for it, I think. The body kit, now obviously I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to, and I've obviously done some body work on the car as well. So that has cost me 1,900 quid, which is obviously quite a lot of money, but I figured the car's worth it. I've put a set of rear tires on it. Again, a bit of a cheapskate, 
I've got a mate in a trade who sourced me some tyres. So I've got some nearly new tyres for 150 quid fitted. That's rear tyres. I think they're like 440 quid each from Michelin. So 150, a lot better in it. And finally, the flappy paddle conversion. I bought a Mercedes steering wheel uh, with the paddles already connected. Took the paddles off, wired them up, um, sold the steering wheel. So it cost me 20 quid in total after I sold the steering wheel. So again, proper bargain really. So the original bumper and a few bits I took off the car, which I don't need anymore. I sold all that stuff and I got 370 quid for that. So this car today, in 2022, stands me at £10,780. Now this is done 100,000 miles, which is pretty low for some of these 911s. You know, they're built to be driven. Uh, it runs really well and it hasn't ever caused me any major problems whatsoever. Um, so I think that is an absolute bargain. Now, I've had a look on eBay. And to replace this car with a phase two, so 996.2, with an aero kit, you're looking at maybe 17, 18 grand. Prices are a little bit up and down, but it's mad really. So I don't think it's worth any less than 15 grand this car, if I'm going to be completely honest. It's got pretty much full service history. So I've had loads of fun in this. I've owned it for four and a half years, and it's nearly halved its value again, if not a little bit more. So that was the main reason I bought the car because I predicted it would be a good investment and I think it definitely has been. So hope you enjoyed this video guys. A little bit different to normal. Um, if you did, hit the subscribe button. Look at my other videos. I do lots of cool stuff. So check me out. And I think we're going to wrap this up by just giving this a little thrash. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye. I'm never going to tire of that flat six Porsche sound.